Okay, so in this particular video, we'll be having a look at a free and a cool open source screenshot tool made up for Windows called Greenshot. Now, recently, I did make a post on this particular thing on my on one of my blogs. Um, I thought I'll also create a video tutorial because some people, when they started using it, they started prompting me that it's kind of confusing. How do you use it? How do you take screenshots with it? And how do you use the rest of the features of it? So I thought I'll just create a quick go through of this particular utility. So um, a green shot. Okay, it seems my internet is slow. All right, so here we have it. Um, a green shot is an open source utility. It allows you to create screenshots of um, your selected regions or entire screen. Um, so you can even capture complete scrolling web pages from Internet Explorer and so on. Um, not only just capturing screenshots, it even allows you to edit the screenshots, uh, write on them, annotate on them, uh, as it says, highlight or obfuscate part of the screenshots and so on. Um, apart from this, there are also options like as you click the screenshot, it will be uh, it will be straight away uploaded to a cloud utility like IMGUR or something like that. So we'll just go ahead and run the green shot utility now. Um, by the way, once you have downloaded it, just go to downloads, uh, download it from here and install this application. Uh, you can just click on download and start using it. Um, once downloaded, it should be there in your programs over here. In the start programs, you can just type green shot and there it is. Or you can also go to all programs and look for green shot over here. Um, there it is, green shot. All right. So once you have clicked on it, uh, you can see in the small icon over here uh, in the taskbar near the clock um, a tray icon, which means that green shot is running right now. If I just right click on this icon, um, you'll see all these options. So IMG UR is already configured on my system. If you want, you can configure. It says use anonymous access um, and use page link instead of image link on clipboard. I'll show you what that means. So, and also in what format do you want a uh, green shot to save the image for you on IMG UR you can select the format from here I have selected PNG uh, actually that was selected by default I think I didn't make any changes to it um, you can go to preferences and you can make your own preferences so you can select uh, the shortcuts for capturing the screen um, if you want to capture a particular window uh, capture the entire screen uh, just press print screen a cursor will appear, a sort of cross uh, symbol will appear, I'll just show it to you, um, in which you can select yourself what particular region you want to select. Um, if you are capturing a region again and again, maybe you are making some changes to it and you want to just go on show, maybe for a tutorial or something, you can just go on pressing shift print screen, it will capture the last region. And if you are specifically capturing Internet Explorer, uh, you can press Control Shift, or you can even set your own uh, shortcuts over here, whatever you may desire. Um, under Capture tab, you have other options like Capture Moist Pointer, Show Notifications, Show Magnifier, and so on. Um, you can obviously go through this and make your own settings. The file name will be automatically set like this. Uh, the time and then the title of the image you can obviously change it when you are saving the image you have the option to save as uh, quality settings J jpeg quality is 80% actually I'm gonna make that 100% I never made these changes actually mm. okay and uh, so I have select destination dynamically which means that after each and every screenshot I get all these options if you use only one option, like say for example, you always save it on desktop or you always uh, copy it to clipboard to then send it in email or something, or you always want to send it via email through Outlook or always upload it to image, you just select that particular thing and that will be taken care of by Greenshot. Any other printer related settings you might want to make, um, these plugins already come installed. Um, I think actually you have the option to install these plugins at the time of installing Greenshot and uh, uh, well I don't know what is this about I've never been into this so I'm not gonna select I know what I'm doing if you are sure about what you're doing just go ahead and select that and make these changes as you may seem right okay so that was it about settings um, 
all right so now let's get to the nitty-gritty of it let's actually go ahead and take a screenshot um, say for example I want to take screenshot of this particular area download screenshot and then till the download button so if this particular area is what I want to take the screenshot of I'm going to press print screen so as I press print screen you will notice that I have a cross bar that lets me select the region of which I want the screenshot all right so there you go this is it um, if I now I have to click and hold left click and hold not leave the button just left click and stay there I, I have not yet left my cursor button I've still pressed it and I'm going to drag it another cool thing that you can see is that it even shows you the pixels so it's 324 by 272 pixels right now the region that you have selected and then uh, it even shows you the dimensions on the top 324 and then on the left 272 and so on so now once I leave the button which I have still hold it by the way um, it will give me the option of where I want to save the screenshot or what I want to do with this particular screenshot let me go ahead and leave this all right there you go there I have the option so I can save it as a particular thing it will display a dialog I can save directly using preferred file output settings which was you know uh, the time and then the title and so on as we had in the settings I can open it in image editor um, that's what I'm going to do actually right now or I can even upload it to image guru or do other things that I want to do with it let me go ahead and open it in image editor so there you go now say for example I want to highlight the download button right and say something about it so I'm going to go edit um, okay sorry object and draw a rectangle and I'm going to again do the same thing as we did with the screenshot press the left button on your mouse and hold it till you have selected the region across which you want to draw the rectangle once done leave this particular left button and let it go there you go now I can obviously change my region by again dragging it up and down and all those things because I have these marks on each side and in the middle of lines so now say for example I want to annotate something and I want to um, draw a line okay draw an arrow so I'm drawing an arrow and now I want to enter a text box add a text box and say download button on green shot sorry let's uh, get green shot dot org all right now let me just push it up now I'm going to save it save as on desktop so as you can see this is the default image name the date and then the time of the capture and so on and then the title if there was a title to this particular page of which we took the screenshot but there's no title so nothing is being shown over here let me go ahead and change this default name to green shot download button right and let me save this so it says export it to save as displaying dialog let me click on this um, it opens the desktop page and over here I have the option to view that image there you go this is the image that we just took and the changes we made a cool 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 utility especially for those who keep on annotating a lot you don't have to copy and paste the images in MS Paint and all that you are free from that that was a troublesome thing anyways that is it uh, for this particular thing of annotating now let's have a look at another utility in this which is upload to image UR IMG UR okay uh, so this time say for example I want the image of green shot logo I'm just going to say print screen again I have this um, crossbar to select the area of which I want the screenshot and then I would go ahead and select the area I have the pixels on the screen 357 cross 82 and as I leave the button I have the option I'm going to say upload to IMG UR oh okay there seems to be some issue let me close this um, let me go to let me see let me see let me see what's wrong with it image good configure 
Alright, there seems to be some issue with IMG UR. I don't know what's wrong with it. Okay, I want to keep it PNG and I'm just gonna select page link instead of image link. Click OK, click OK. Let me try it once again. Okay, it says communicating with IMG UR. Please wait. Maybe it's uploading the image to image UR. Let's hope so. Now by purpose I selected a small image which was just this particular area the green shot logo that was because um, okay there is some issue uh, remote server so that is a server related error maybe there is something is something going on with IMG UR so okay basically that's how you do stuff um, IMG UR could be having some issues right now or might be there is upload available for my green shot utility I have to check that but that's how you basically do stuff with GreenShot, and that was a quick walkthrough on Green on GreenShot. Um, second thing, because it's open source, uh, it depends on the community a lot. So if you actually find an issue, like if this thing uh, was an issue, I'll go ahead and research on it. And if I actually find an issue, I'm going to report a bug, or I'm going to see the existing bugs, open discussions, and uh, find out if there are any bugs related to GreenShot. Uh, IMG UR thing that if already filed so do contribute I mean in any manner you can you know either reporting bugs or contributing to already filed bugs we're searching on it or if you think there should be a new feature like apart from image go if you think there should be something else or any other feature that you want uh, you can also go and suggest a feature if you are a developer and you like uh, contributing to uh, projects in terms of writing code you, you, obs you obviously can clone the git library git repo on your uh, local system and start working on it create a branch and uh, push it live and if things work out give a pull request to the original developer and so on okay those words if they were uh, gibberish for you those words for actually those who are developers they would be knowing about what I was talking about anyways fine uh, that was it for this particular tutorial guys. Thanks a lot for watching and do share and like this video. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. That will be a great, great, great motivation for me to go ahead and create more and more tutorials like this. If you have any comments, please feel free to drop them below in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching this video. Stay tuned for more.